Jack was one of the greatest heel horses of all time. He was meant to be a heel horse. Jackal was the only horse that I've ever seen personally that I know for sure actually loved team roping. He became a horse that could literally just tear the back end off of a steer. He was a real cowboy kind of horse. I never really thought of that horse as a great horse when I had him. He had some attitude about him. Wanted to rear up and walk out of the box every now and then and would pin his ears and bite people. He was kind of a little outlaw. He would stop so hard sometimes that it felt like he wasn't stopping, you know. He would slide forever. I think he was the kind of horse that always wanted to please, always wanted to do his job, and he always wanted to do it violently. When you cinched him up, he would start biting at the bit, pin his ears back, and you had to do, like, double up the reins, get ready, pull your hat down, and then try to get on as fast as you could because he was going to take off regardless. So he knows when it's game time. Just about everyone that ever rode that horse were all winners, and that horse has won a lot over the years. It didn't matter who rode him or what you did. He worked the same or worked good for everybody. Basically made each one of us very successful when we had him. As much as he won over his career, he maybe got sold the most times for the most amount of money that any heel horse has ever done. There's no telling how many miles that horse went, you know, because there was a stretch when Michael Jones had him that that was the only horse he had and he rode him everywhere. Next thing you know, Jim's riding him every steer that he runs and he wins Cheyenne on him, which is the hardest rodeo probably on a horse that there is. Big steers gotta just mortally fly down the arena and then turn the corner and take a huge jerk. Jackal's feet weren't necessarily the best feet in the world. To do that when he's 24, let you know how the guys that owned him, how good they took care of him. You could just tell that he loved doing it. That horse didn't do well if he was just sitting around not being used. We didn't think he was gonna get old and would have to retire. Like we thought he was gonna be exactly how he was and one day he's just gonna drop dead. Jackal made his last run at the NFR. Round one, three, six in round two, three, nine last night. All I could think about is like, he's gonna drop dead. He's gonna die when he gets out the back end. Like, and, I, and I'm truly believing that. So I'm thinking, like, I don't care what's going on. I'm like, somebody's gotta get back there. Like, he's gonna die. That's all I'm thinking about. Brandon Beers, get across every turn. Steer runs, and he reaches and gets it. Jim Ross squares up, got him. Jackal passed away, uh, he was close to 30 years old. Jim was the last guy to have him and that's where he ended his days. If he didn't have heart, he wouldn't have made it half the time that he did. I know he was old, I know he lived a great life. I would just suspect that, uh, that he's definitely in heaven. He's probably the most famous hill horse of our time. I didn't ride him anywhere where somebody didn't come up and want to pet him or knew his name or, you know, we knew something about him, just wanted to come take a picture with him. I just had a level of respect and, and love for him that I'll probably never have again. <laughs>